Hello, my name is Miss Elizabeth and welcome to our activity today. Today we're going to do an activity with 2D shapes and we're going to talk about patterns and symmetry using these 2D shapes. If you don't have pattern blocks, because that's what I'm going to use today, I'm going to attach a link to a template um, on the bottom of the description of this video and you can download that and you can print it and cut out your own shapes and color them. Um, but I'm going to use the actual, and so you can make an art project with that that way too. You can glue them down and keep the, the project, but for today I'm going to use actual pattern blocks. So I have sorted out um, some different 2D shapes. So this can be a great opportunity to have your child sort out the shapes, talk about what the different names are, how many sides, how many vertices, um, especially some of the more um, complex shapes, like we have a hexagon here, it's got six sides, six vertices. I know sometimes that name can be tricky. Another shape that's lesser known is a trapezoid, so you can say, you know, how many sides, how many vertices. Trapezoid has four of each, four sides, four vertices. And you can talk how is it similar and different to a square or a rectangle because they also have four sides and four vertices. So you can look at the different shapes, ask the children to compare them, talk about different attributes that they have while you're sorting them out or while you're doing the activity. So pattern blocks are really great for seeing patterns and symmetry. So I'm going to do patterns first. So you can have your child try and create their own pattern. It can be basic as like an ABAB, so I could do like hexagon square and re just repeat this pattern. Um, that's a simple pat a very simple pattern. Or if they're a little bit older, you can ha I'll have them do a little bit more of a difficult pattern. So you can have them do um, not just a straight line, you can have them repeat the pattern. So I can do the next row, but have them add on. And let's see, what can we put in the middle? We can have them, you know, find something that like this, and then continue the pattern on the top and the bottom. So it's going to be different, but it's still a pattern. So you can have them do something a little bit more complex like that. Another thing that you can do for patterns and symmetry. Um, so symmetry, for those who don't recall what it is, is when if you draw a line down the middle of something, it has the same image on either side. So something that can be helpful if you are wanting to make, have your child do something with symmetry, is to do a line down the middle of a paper and have them do one image on one side and then copy it on the other. You can also do it in fourths if it's easier for them to do it in one fourth of the page and then replicate it on the bottom and then again and again. I'm going to start with just two sides. So you can ask your child on one side to build any kind of shape or pattern that they want. So have them do it just following the line. Let's see what else can we do here. So they can make something like this or anything else that they can come up with on one side and now have them repeat it on the other side. This will help them understand that symmetry, um, what symmetry means. So we're going to do a mirror image and that the line down the middle helps them really see that if, if you cut it in half, it is exactly the same thing. So you can do symmetry like this. And now you can, you can ask your child to explain what is symmetrical about it. The shapes that they see on either side, how many shapes of everything they used. So you can use this as an opportunity to really ask them questions. You can also have them do a picture. Things like flowers are symmetrical. So you can have them do half of a flower 
and then do the other half of the flower or anything that they maybe are interested in. It can be a picture, it can be a pattern, whichever they are more interested in, whichever is going to get them to be thinking more creatively and engaging in the activity most. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.